I'm Taylor Jenkins and I'm here to discuss disability and discrimination. While doing some readings on social justice, I noticed America's long history of discriminating against persons with disabilities, as well as a lengthy list of disabilities to discriminate against. I was aware that this type of judgment had had part in excluding people from certain jobs or opportunities, but I was amazed at the plethora of conditions that had been considered legal disabilities. Douglas Bankton outlined the list of disabilities that was used in the 19th century to eugenically filter immigrants. Let me tell you, this list is extensive. The usual race, gender, and sexual orientations were seen as valid reasons for discrimination, but so was being a lunatic, an idiot, and dependent on another person for survival. We had counted everything under the sun that was outside the range of normalcy as a disability and used these disabilities as a means to alienate and ridicule. However, have we crossed the spectrum and achieved the other extreme? Instead of brutal discrimination, are we simply dismissing persons with disabilities altogether? I have a friend with severe social anxiety, and she has been told multiple times to get over it. It isn't a real problem, and there are people who have it much worse. Her struggle is completely dismissed. I've watched the anxiety cripple her, make her unable to move, to speak. Why isn't that as real of a disability as physical paralysis or being mute? Why are certain disabilities judged and others ignored? Why are disabilities themselves seen as absolute and unmanageable? I agree with Lisa Melanson when she states that we need to stop thinking of disabilities as deficits, as something less, and start thinking about improving the accessibility of our society. Yes, disabilities come with hindrances, but it is up to us to choose if these barriers are things to shame or things to overcome. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, the background music in my video was an instrumental version of Nickelback's When We Stand Together. I didn't caption the title in the video because describing the music did a better job of conveying the mood. I also chose to only caption the music during the introduction and closing credits when it was in the forefront of the audio track rather than continuing to caption when it was in the background per the suggestions of Sean Zdenek. Listen to the song, it has a good message.